Uh, we've been uh, contacted by uh, very close to 100 former students that want to be part of the action. The lawsuit began in August and now includes three more men, including a former children's director of the church. The allegations include sexual abuse of a minor when he was the children's director at the church and school. The minor was in grade three, four, and five at the time. Another new defendant, Saskatoon City Councillor Randy Donauer. He is alleged to have participated in the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual abuse of children at the school and church. He is alleged to be a principal defendant, instrumental in the development and implementation of the policies and procedures undertaken by Mile 2 Church. Don Auer has denied any wrongdoing and has told CBC previously he would defend against any legal claims. More than 20 people are now accused in the lawsuit. The government of Saskatchewan has also been added. The amended claim goes on to allege that the government has totally failed to fulfill its legal obligations, duties and responsibilities owed to these students. The lawsuit alleges the Ministry of Education was careless and reckless that it failed the students and neglected its duties to protect the children in a school it is responsible for overseeing. The alleged failures of the ministry have occurred since 1982 under the Conservative Party, the Saskatchewan Party and the NDP. This is not political. It's a total failure of the institution. And while they say this action isn't political, Caitlin Erickson says the current government has also failed to act since the allegations have emerged. We didn't go into this lawsuit thinking that our pursuit for justice would end up with the government named. We thought as former students and anticipated when we reached out to the government with our very, very awful stories of abuse and our experiences from dozens of former students, that those stories would be heard if the student group had not come forward when they did. Several of these individuals who are alleged prolific abusers would still be around minor children today, and some of them would be running schools. Allegations detailed in the lawsuit have not yet been tested in court, and there is also a separate criminal investigation underway. Erickson says the former students want to see policy change now. They also want accountability for the alleged abuse and lasting psychological harms. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Saskatoon.